Hey everybody, so I decided to do a few videos um, for anybody who's looking to get into painting. I'm self-taught, I had to learn the hard way, a lot of trial and error, books, videos, DVDs, and in a lot of those things that I bought, books and videos and DVDs, you leave out a lot of basic information that I think is pretty important for anybody who doesn't have the maybe schooling or somebody that has a lot of know-how to teach you how to paint. Um, I just have a couple things out here, actually toilet seats and mailboxes and stuff, just to kind of show you an idea of things to practice on when you're first starting out. And if they turn out cool enough, you can sell them or give them away as gifts. Just, just an idea. Um, first thing I want to talk about is CFM. CFM is pretty important when you're first starting out, actually all throughout your painting. Um, what CFM stands for is cubic feet per minute. It's basically a measurement of airflow. Um, every compressor, every air tool, paint gun, blow guns, die grinders, anything that uses or produces air has some sort of a CFM rating. Um, air hoses, air fittings all have a CFM rating of how much air they can flow through them. Um, so paint guns relating to compressors is probably the most important to match up as far as CFM. Paint guns can go from, full size paint guns can go from 3 CFM all the way up to 14, 15, 16 CFM. So when you're looking for a paint gun, you have to pay attention to the CFM in relation to an air compressor that you may already have or that you're looking to buy. So for an example, this is a Sharp Finex FX3000 HVLP. Decent gun. Um, it's rated at maximum inlet pressure of 29 PSI and the CFM rating is I believe 9 CFM when in use. Okay, so 9 CFM airflow of 9 cubic feet per minute at 29 PSI. Now I just have this here just so I can show you a compressor. This compressor is rated at Typically compressors will have a rating at 90 and at 40, so at 90 CFM this compressor will flow 3 point, or at 90 PSI, sorry, this compressor will flow 3.8 CFM. At 40 PSI it will flow or produce 5 CFM. So 5 CFM at 40 if you knock down another 10 PSI to get down to the 30 that this gun requires, you might have 5.3 CFM coming out of this compressor. Now you can see that this CFM number is lower than what this paint gun needs, meaning that this compressor will not supply enough air to use this paint gun for any extended period of time. So that's why the CFM is important. Um, most of your 110 volt garage portable type compressors will max out at about 8 CFM. They're usually around 6.5 to 8. So that's just a little bit less than this gun needs. And you could probably make it work if you do some painting and let it catch up. The problem is, is the longer the compressor runs continuously, the hotter it gets, the more water it's going to produce, and you don't want water going through your paint gun. You could put water traps and filters and stuff, but it's better to just not have that problem. So for your those 110 volt garage compressors, 20, 30 gallon, you do have options um, to shop around. There's LVLP that in some cases will go down to three and a half CFM. Some of your conventional guns, I'll get into this in a different video, some of your conventional guns, this one is rated at three and a half 3.1 CFM at 43 PSI. Now on the other hand, you got the you know Harbor Freight Purple Gun, they have several of them. This one's 14 CFM. So even my 60 gallon compressor at 40 PSI is only rated at 12 and a half. So 
if I were painting anything of any kind of size, eventually this gun will use more air than that 60 gallon compressor can produce. So when you get down, you start losing air pressure, the pattern coming out of your paint gun will actually not be optimal. So your atomization will suffer, meaning the, the mist. Atomization is how fine the paint actually gets blown into a little mist. The better atomization you have, the better your finish will be. Poor atomization usually equals a lot of orange peel. So if you've got a gun that is consuming a ton of air and you have a compressor that's too small to keep up with it, like I said, number one, you're gonna get water. And number two, you start using up the air that's in your tanks and the pump can't keep up. Your, your airflow and the amount of air you have available is just gonna start depleting and your pattern coming out of your gun is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. So you may stay up, start out with a nice, good, smooth paint, and by the time you're done, it might be splattering crap everywhere. So keep that in mind when you're shopping around for either a compressor or a paint gun. CFM is definitely important. You want to match. As, optimally, you want to have a compressor that will supply more air than a paint gun will use. Now, real quick, I want to talk about hose. This is a no-no if you're using anything bigger than an airbrush. This quarter inch little curly Q crap, this will not flow enough air, no matter how big your compressor is and how much actual pressure you have your regulator set at. You could have this thing set at 160,000 pounds per square inch and you're only going to flow so much air through this little hose. That's a little excessive, sorry. <laughs> um, what I would recommend is standard 3 8 inch hose, black, blue, whatever, orange. I like just the rubber Goodyear stuff. Standard air fittings are usually good enough. Um, Milton is a U.S. company that makes air fittings. You can probably find them at Tractor Supply. And when, uh, I'm from the Midwest, so we have Menards. Home Depot, you know, the home improvement stores, Ace, True Value, whatever. The standard quarter inch air fitting should be enough for a paint gun that's around 12 CFM or less. Some of your HVLPs that want really high CFM, you might want to look into a high flow fitting. From at your compressor all the way through to your paint gun, including the fitting that's on the paint gun itself. So some of those HVLP guns that require a ton of CFM, for somebody that's a hobby painter, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Um, I think that's about all the time I have for this video. I'll do more. Check them out. Hope this is helping anybody who's looking for some basic information. Thanks.